your people. Some people are following you because they like you and they believe in what you've told them so far. But if you don't really clearly know where you're going, some people might get off because you're going in circles. Or they have high expectations because you put it on them that we're going to reach the world. But only three people show up. And, and if you sold them a vision of big crowds and you don't know what to do with three people, you're in trouble. The good thing about Jesus' model, and that's whose model we should follow, is, you know, quit all the performance, quit all the stuff that maybe speak to things that are easier for us to do in performance, but really sitting down with somebody helping them grow in Christ and to love Christ and to see your love for Christ and to see your desire to, to really know how to make a disciple and to be a disciple. Our world and our church leaders are impatient. Partly because, I don't know about you, but I like to eat. And sometimes it takes money to eat. Sometimes I can hang out with my friends and they buy my, my lunch and dinner. I can come to meetings like this and they'll put a good meal on. But sometimes I'm tempted to try to attract a crowd so I can take an offering instead of just trying to live a life of making disciples that make disciples. But you know what Jesus modeled? Can I tell you? Three people, 12 people. He spent a, you know, more time with those three. He spent time with the 12. And, and Scott and Carl and I were talking earlier about Jesus. Who else in this world do you know that's ever lived that we celebrate their birthday or their, their life twice a year? But Jesus, when he walked on this earth and made such an impact, that now 2,000 years later, we, we celebrate his life every year. Vision, it promotes unity, but also vision is a key to giving. When people understand the vision, they'll give you something way more important than their money. They'll give their lives. And if you can't clearly communicate how they're to spend their life. They'll give you your life. They'll, they'll follow you. But if you're not helping them live the vision that God's called you to live, activity might seem good. Fact is, I say it sometimes too much. You may say it. People say, are you busy? You staying busy? And I, you know, even tonight, Reginald asked me, said, you busy? I said, staying busy is not a problem. Doing the right business is a problem for me sometimes. So when you consider the importance of vision, God's preferred future for you and what He's called you to do, you got to have that crystal clear because your people are counting on you to provide that. My mother, one of the wonderful things about my mother growing up, when I would take a trip, this was before GPS and all that stuff, she would do two things before I'd leave for a trip. And, and I, she would sit down with a map, and she would have it highlighted with where I'm to go. So I could look at the big picture map of where I was going. And then she would also have turn-by-turn -turn directions on how I should get there. You know, get off you know, Highway 178, get on Highway, you know, Interstate 77. And she did that before you know, drive by, you know, turn by turn instructions was on the website. She did that for me. The other thing she would do when I was taking a trip, going back to college or going out of town for something, it would never fail that when I would get up and when I'd walk out to my car, she had actually, sometime during the night when I was sleeping, she would go out there and she would take it and Windex my windshield and clean my windshield inside and out. That's what my mother would do on a regular basis. I know I'd have a map. I'd have a turn-by-turn -turn instruction, and I'd have a clean windshield. And if gar gardenias were blooming, because we had one right there by the driveway, there would be a gardenia flower in my car that would smell good. You are called to be a shepherd, under-shepherd to God's people. They deserve clear maps. They deserve a clear view. 
And if you don't have a clear vision for what God's called you to do, if you're just busy in the work, take a season. Have the people praying with you. Trust the Lord to give you that clear vision that's aligned with disciples that make disciples that make disciples.